Good evening. So today I'm going to go through a few steps on showing you all how to annotate. All right. So I'm just going to use pieces of the text that we are using everyday use. So everyday use. And I, of course, I'm in my Google Docs, but you know you can do this on your sheets. Um, I prefer for you to do it on your sheets. But if you need me to, I can send this to you via Google Docs. So everyday use, something that we always do, we always start with the title. So when I see the title, everyday use, I think of uh, things that I use daily. Or just common things. Uh, things that are not important. That's what I think. So I'm going to go ahead and save my comment. Now remember, when we are reading and when we're annotating, I want to see your thoughts on paper. So the next thing I see is I will wait for her in the yard that Maggie and I made so clean <clears throat> and wavy yesterday, yesterday afternoon. So, okay, when I see I, this lets me know that this story is being told in first person. Also, I know that they're waiting for someone. I will wait for her. So, the narrator is waiting for someone. And I'm going to guess that this person is important. Important to them. I forgot. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm singing. I forgot that I was recording just that quickly. Okay. So a yard like this is more comfortable than most people know. It is not just a yard. It is an extended living room. Okay. Extended living room. It is like an extended living room. So this is a comparison. She is saying that if I'm comparing the yard to a living room, then I have to think about what do I know about a yard? Well, or a living room. A living room for me is a place of comfort. Uh, it, company uh, is in my living room. So this is, the yard is an extension of her home. It's a, okay. When the hard clay is swept clean as a floor and the fine sand around the edges lined with teeny irregular grooves, anyone can come and sit Come and sit and look up into the elm tree and wait for the breezes that never comes inside the house. Mm, breezes never comes inside the house. Breezes never comes inside the house. Well, this tells me that if the breeze don't come inside the house, then maybe they, why, why don't the breezes come inside the house? Uh, maybe they don't have windows hmm. or small windows. 
so that's a question mark for me. I'm going to come back and hopefully I can answer that. Maggie will be nervous until after her sister goes. Okay, so this lets me know that it's a family member. Well, this lets me know that the narrator is kin to Maggie and the visitor is Maggie's sister, right? She was staying hopelessly in the corner. Homely, okay, so let's do a vocabulary one for you all. So homely, we're going to define it. Homely is a person, ooh, of a person unattractive in, parent, in appearance. Simple but cozy and comfortable. Let's see which one of these definitions fit. So... Let's go back. She will stand helplessly in corners. Well, that lets us know that she's uncomfortable. So that means this definition of homely should be unattractive in appearance. So what do we know about Maggie? So let's close that. Oh, stop playing with me. Okay. And I don't want the dictionary anymore. All right, here we go. Maggie. So right now we know Maggie is uncomfortable and unattractive, right? The word for that is homely. Let's see. And ashamed of the burn scars down her arms and legs. Oh, so Maggie is burned. So I want to know how did she get her scars, right? The scars are down her arms and her legs. Eyeing, I don't know why they did not spell eyeing correctly. I know that was right. Eyeing her sister with a mixture of envy and awe. She thinks her sister has held life in the palm of one hand. Hmm. Held life in the palm of one hand. So I'm going to underline this for me, and I might even italicize it. Underline. Okay, so what do I think of when I see that? Ooh. To hold a life. So first of all, they're saying life is so small that someone can hold it and they can shape it. Okay, so uh, life can be shaped. Where's my thing? Okay. Life can be shaped. What else is it saying about uh, oh, this person is in control, right? So Maggie's sister is in control. So this lets me know Maggie is not in control. This is just, you know, my observ ah, observations. So it says that no is a word the world never learned to say to her and her is D. So maybe the world says no to Maggie. So maybe Maggie feels that the world has treated her unfairly. 
We'll see, right? All right. So this is what I expect of you as you're reading. Slow down, read. That way, when we want to think of uh, or come up with a theme, you have all of this information, all of your thoughts written out on your paper and we could just look at it. It's going to help you explain things. It's going to uh, help you to elaborate on your answers. It's going to show that you understand the story. And so when you come in tomorrow or Tuesday, I expect for all of your pages, all six front and back, one, two, three, four, five, yep all six pages to be annotated. I don't care if you have to write the annotations on another sheet of paper. I showed you my expectations for every paragraph, everything that catches your eye. I need for you to write a comment down. What are your thoughts? All right. All righty. You guys have a good night.